What's up YouTube today? I'm gonna show you how I took just a regular 30 cent tile, some spray paint, and my laser engraver to make some awesome custom artwork. Now these are all things you could sell if you wanna make money with your laser engraver, or you know, if you just want some collectibles for around the house. So very, very cool. I love how these turned out. And uh, let me show you the whole process. All right, first thing you're gonna to wanna to do is take your tile and you're gonna to wanna to paint it with a base coat uh, of a color first. So we are gonna do a Yoda. So we are gonna do base color green here and you wanna do it linear, nice and light. You don't wanna to go too heavy. And just in bursts. Doesn't, you don't even need to be totally perfect because we're gonna do black over that. So you want it pretty light. We're just gonna do that. We're gonna wait 20 minutes and then we're gonna hit it with some black. All right, so after the color hits, you're gonna to wanna to take some black. Uh, I prefer the gloss, I think it comes out better, so use some uh, gloss. We're using the Rust-Oleum gloss enamel here. Same thing, nice thin coat. And just like that. Okay, we're gonna let that dry for about 20 minutes, and uh, then we can get to painting it, or etching it, I mean. All right guys, so let me show you how to set this up. So I wanna do this picture of Yoda that I got. Um, here's the actual picture, I think it's on my desktop. Where did I put it? Here we go. So this is the picture we are gonna be doing. And I got this on, I just went to Google Images and typed in Yoda high resolution images and I found it here somewhere. Um, but yeah, so first off you're gonna need that. And then you're gonna to wanna to crop your image to a square. This one, I already went ahead and did that, I just hit right here, but you can actually do that in the next step too. I prefer to just do it before you even get into Imager though. So Imager is I-M-A-G hyphen R.com is where you wanna go. There's quite a few ads on this site you gotta deal with, but other than that, it's pretty good. So here, we're gonna go down here and we're gonna upload that picture we had of Yoda that was on my desktop. Come on, desktop. I'm gonna go sift through all this garbage. Find it right there. And bada bing, bada boom. And you see it makes it grayscale. And we gotta do a couple more things. If you need to crop yours to square or whatever size your canvas is, you can go ahead and crop it there. We already did that. So now we're gonna go to resize. So I'm gonna be doing on a six by six tile. So I'm actually gonna change this to 5.9. Uh, 5 .1, I don't know, 5.91, there we go, 5.9. And then here, because I'm using a diode laser, I'm gonna put it at 318 dots per inch. I'm gonna hit okay. All right, and you see it changed the image a little bit. Now we are gonna go down to material. We are almost done, this is pretty simple. And since I'm using a diode laser, I'm gonna click here on diode, and we are gonna do Norton White Tile Paint in Black. The guy that invented this, uh, somebody, his last name was Norton, so he, you know, that's why he's called the Norton White Tile Paint in Black. All right, so we are gonna go to that, and now you can see this is the image we are gonna be bringing into our laser gerbil software. So we're gonna hit download here, and you can do JPEG, you can do any of these. I like PNG. Um, when you, hit, you get, put an ad, when you hit close on the ad, it'll download. Okay, then we got our image, and I'm gonna show you guys how to do this in Laser Gerbil. There's a lot of tutorials how to do this with Lightburn, which is like an $80 program. This is a free program, it works just as good in here. I don't know why anybody would pay money for a program when you got a perfectly good free one right here. All right, so we're gonna go uh, find that file that we just downloaded right there and we're gonna open her up okay but instead of line to line tracing you could do this but what I prefer is pass through because pass through there's no processing it just takes the file exactly as uh, as a laser I mean as imager sent it to it see no no processing done by laser girl so we're gonna hit next and it's gonna take a couple minutes oh, we gotta do one more step so I'm gonna do this at 1200 is what I found works really good and you want this at 25 percent of your laser strength you don't want to go through all the layers of paint you just want to go through you know a little bit so we're gonna put it at 250 uh, you can see the aspect ratio is all fixed here because it's taking it direct we did pass through you can't change this on pass through we're gonna hit create and this is gonna take a couple minutes, so we might have to come back. All right, and we are back. So now we have it right here. And now all you really gotta do is click your little boundary button to make sure your tile is in place. Hit the play button and let it run. But this is what you're looking for right here. So, um, you know, like, 
it's just going to be really cool. It's like a negative image, so the black parts are actually going to be where the laser doesn't hit it and stuff. So, very, very cool. And uh, let's fire it up. All right, once again, guys, here are the finished results. This one I did with only one layer of black before I put it in the laser. This one I put two layers of black before the laser. So you can go a little heavier on the black if you want more like um, this, or go a little lighter on the black if you want it more like this. Um, super impressed with how all these turned out. Let me know down below um, what you, you, know, you would want to make a picture of if you had this, or if you do have it, what you're going to make a picture of. Once again, this was just a 30 cent tile, and uh, you know, I use free software. Couldn't really been easier. So I do have an Etsy store where I'm going to put these up on. So the link to that will be down below if you want to like, you know, buy something like this or um, have it, put it in order for some custom stuff. Um, help you know support the channel a little bit. So thank you guys for watching, and I'll see you later.